Dimebag Darrell is one of the greatest metal guitarists of all time. Rolling Stone magazine ranked him 92nd on their list of the 100 greatest guitarists of all time in 2011. Meanwhile, Metal Hammer magazine placed him 19th on their list of the 50 greatest metal guitarists of all time in 2018. Before becoming one of the world's leading metal guitarists, Dimebag Darrell had a strong interest in BMX sports. Since childhood, Dimebag showed a great interest in this sport, often spending time outside riding bikes and doing challenging tricks. Darrell seemed to find a new life with the guitar. Darrell started playing musical instruments at a young age, 12 years old. His first guitar was a Hondo Les Paul. His exceptional talent led him to excel in all music competitions, and there was an assumption that he was not allowed to compete anymore because he would always be the winner. Born as Darrell Lance Abbott on August 20th, 1966, in Ennis, Texas, USA, to Carolyn and Jerry Abbott, a musician and country music producer. At the age of 15, Darrell conceived the concept of Pantera with his brother, Vincent Paul Abbott. Darrell's decision proved to be right. In the early 1980s, the music world was dominated by the presence of heavier bands than rock and roll, ranging from Slayer, Metallica, to Megadeth. Pantera seemed to want to participate in the metal wave at that time. His guitar playing was influenced by many musicians including Tony Yomi, Richie Blackmore, Randy Rhodes, and of course, Eddie Van Halen. Abbott formed Pantera in 1981 with his brother Vinnie Paul on drums. These siblings couldn't be separated from each other. Before singer Phil Anselmo joined Pantera, Abbott was invited by Dave Mustaine to join Megadeth. Abbott was willing to join, but on the condition that Mustaine also hired his brother Vinnie on drums. Since Mustaine had already hired drummer Nick Menza, Abbott chose to stick with Pantera. Daryl is known as an expressive guitarist who brings the dynamic techniques of guitarist Eddie Van Halen into the thrash power groove metal music of his band, Pantera. As a result, Pantera is considered one of the most uncompromising metal bands, meaning they weren't very concerned with the music trends created by major record labels in the 1990s. Daryl's journey with Pantera was not without obstacles. The band from Arlington, Texas, failed to attract attention in its early days. However, after they released Cowboys from Hell, the name Pantera began to gain recognition. Pantera is widely known for three of its albums, Cowboys from Hell, 1990, Vulgar Display of Power, 1992, and of course Far Beyond Driven, 1994. Like other major bands, internal conflicts were inevitable. Pantera began experiencing high tensions among band members in the mid-1990s due to vocalist Phil Anselmo's high-level drug addiction. Frustrated with Anselmo, they decided to disband Pantera in 2003. After one year, Vinnie and Dimebag continued their music careers by forming Damage Plan, a heavy metal band with a groove metal sound reminiscent of Pantera. The Abbott brothers recruited former Halford guitarist Pat Lockman on vocals and Bob Zilla on bass. Damage Plan released their debut album, New Found Power, in the U.S. on February 10, 2004, which sold 44,676 copies in its first week of sales. There seems to be something about the date December 8th. On that date, particularly in the world of music, there have been horrifying events. 44 years ago, the phenomenal vocalist of the Beatles, John Lennon, was shot by one of his fans, Mark David Chapman, in his apartment. 24 years later, a similar event happened to Dimebag Darrell. On December 8, 2004, Darrell was shot on stage during a concert with Damage Plan at the Alrosa Villa in Columbus, Ohio. The shooter, a former Marine named Nathan Gale, used a 9mm Beretta 92 FS caliber pistol. Gale shot Darrell three times directly in the head. Initially, some audience members thought the gunshots were part of the concert, but they became suspicious as Gale continued to shoot Darrell, and eventually, the audience realized that the gunshots were not part of the show. After firing a total of 15 shots, Gale killed four people and injured seven others. Gale met the same fate as his victims. He was shot dead by the police. There is a theory that Gale was a die-hard Pantera fan. Perhaps he was angry about the breakup of Pantera or because of the feud between Daryl and Phil Anselmo. But this theory was later dismissed by investigators. The motivation behind his actions was never fully understood. 
but some possible factors include mental disturbance, jealousy, or emotional instability. Additionally, other factors such as drug influence or personal conflicts may have played a role in the incident. However, without direct access to Nathan Gale's mind or further information about his background, the true motive may never be fully revealed. The mystery behind Dimebag Darrell's murder by Nathan Gale remains an intriguing topic for music fans and criminology experts. Although the event happened years ago, the memory of losing a music legend remains alive, while questions about what truly triggered that brutal act still linger to this day. With Pantera, Dimebag solidified his name as a seasoned heavy metal guitarist. Nine albums have been produced since its formation in 1981. Since Dimebag's death in 2004, Pantera has never been actively releasing new work. Even the drummer, Vinnie Paul, firmly stated that the only thing that would reunite Pantera and perform again is if Dimebag Daryl were still alive. <laughs>